hello guys welcome to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates today our topic is about uh, the load transfer mechanism or the load path that how the load is transferred from the uh, superstructure into the substructure right so uh, we will talk in detail about the load transfer in a structure now i'm uh, making a drawing a uh, structure and i will show you that how uh, the load comes from the top to the bottom of the structure for example i'm drawing the three depth of any building it may be of any simple building uh, as i'm not taking any multi-story building uh, but i'm just drawing it as simply a one-story building uh, for example this is a one-story building right and which uh, this is the slave we see the structure is mainly uh, composed of certain components we call is a structure a structure is made of certain components some components and um, and these components work together to make the structure for example uh, i call it this is a beam this is a beam and structure this is a horizontal membrane structure this is a column vertical membrane structure and this is a slave this we define as a slave and and these columns will be supported by the by what by any type of simple isolated footing or maybe any type of footing you can watch video about footing uh, in my previous uh, videos on uh, in my channel right so these these are the footings provided for the column and below the footing we have side right we have side below the footing we have side similarly this is also the column so this will be footing and then below will be the soil so these components for example like uh, column like footing column beam and slab these components work together and they make a structure uh, which is used for such uh, some purposes we call this a structure because this is used now for some purpose and it is some components so now what are these components uh, the most important is the slab one and then uh, beam and this is also the way of load transferring and then we come across with the column and then come we across with the what with the footing and then we come across with the soil right there are some components and very important to discuss now how the load transfer from one member to another member and how it does transfer for example taking an example this is a slave on which we move in our daily in our daily life right this is a slave for example this is a slave in actual practice it is a slave this is a slave and the people are some machine is put on this slave we uh, and we are moving at this load take an example and uh, so this is the load on the slave so what does the slave will do how will it will it transfer direct to the column or will it di transfer direct to the footing what it will do so how it will transfer i'm showing it by diagram that how the slave will transfer the load to its lower part right so for example this, this was the column this was the previous column but i don't want to show it here so that you don't get confused so this was the slave right this was slave and the load coming on this slave will be divided into different beams like this is a beam this is a beam this is a beam and this is a beam right so how it will be transferred in a triangular way this is a one way of load transfer mechanism for example the load coming on the slave will be transferred in a rectangular way to this beam some load will be transferred in a rectangular way in a tri sorry in a triangular way to this beam and some will be transferred to this beam and some will be transferred to this beam right so the slave is now dividing its load to its four beams these are the one two three four beams are there so the slave is going to divide its load to each its component right so after after coming the load from the slave to beam this beam will now transfer its load to its length to column first the load get by the slave then the beam uh, slave divide the load into four components into beam and then from the beam load comes into the columns right the beam will now transfer this load this load into the column this load into the column and this this load into the column right after the load coming into the column it will be supported by the footing we call the footing and we design the footing uh, to support this column load how much the load is coming so the footing is the fourth one to support that load 
right and uh, uh, coming into the uh, footing and we designed uh, different types of footing and uh, as I was discussing in my previous video you can watch on my channel the, the types of footing you should provide it to resist the load and what type of footing you should provide according to the condition and in this case I just simply supported the isolated footing I provided and after uh, the load coming in from the column to the footing uh, and then footing it will take the whole load but it should be also okay with the bearing capacity of soil so it will transfer the load to the footing and the footing will be able to resist this whole load of the column and uh, and there is, will be no such high pressure on the soil so we safely transfer the load from slab to beam beam to column and column to footing and the footing will be able to resist this whole load right so there will be no need to uh, load place load on the soil so this was all about the load transfer mechanism how the load is being transferred from one part to another please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos and thank you for watching our videos